from a baseball Hall of Famer to our own Hall of Famer. This station, WTVJ, turned 70 this year, and as part of that anniversary, we brought to you some of the pioneers that helped bring local sports coverage to life. Nobody has been more important to that than Bernie Rosen. He started as an intern here in 1949 when the station first went on the air. You didn't see him on screen, but for more than 60 years, he was crafting his legend behind the scenes. He started the first TV sports department in Miami, and tomorrow he celebrates his 92nd birthday. Tonight, we celebrate him and his legacy on local sports coverage. I got to work with the greatest staff in the history, I believe, in the history of sports uh, for local news in this country. The godfather was Bernie Rosen. Bernie Rosen is the one of the rocks that the station was built on. Bernie is hardcore WTVJ. My first job at the station was sweeping up the studio floor, but everyone knew my interest in sports. He was known throughout the country. There was no one that didn't know Bernie Rosen. He started sports coverage. He, he was the man behind everything. I was appointed in 1960 as a sports director. That was the first time someone had been appointed sports director that was not on the air. Bernie Rosen was the Vince Lombardi, the Don Shula. Uh, for sports here. I, I can't tell you how hard I worked. I had a fixation. I was going to beat the Herald in the news to some stories. I knew everybody, was an encyclopedia of knowledge, never forgot a phone number. I mean, we were at everything from high school sports all the way up to the Dolphins. There wasn't anything that we missed. I beat them and two, three, four, five stories. That was, that made me so proud. If it happened in Miami, he was gonna know about it. He was gonna know about it first. And he was going to send you out to get the story and you better get it or there was hell to pay. We just worked hard. We were just good. Bernie would call me in the morning and he would give me my assignments before I even got to the station. And when I picked up the phone, I would hold it out like this because he was always yelling and screaming at me for something. And it was usually deserved. <laughs> I threw many telephones. I hid like a dog who peed in his, in, on a carpet from Bernie. Because, where's Roy Firestone? And it was like, I was hiding under desks. That's what it was like. I had so many mistakes. He was extremely fair. And so no one ever questioned Bernie's judgment. And when he yelled at you, well, you probably deserved it. But we always knew that he had our back. The thing I cherish most today is that the people that work for me are now my friends. Bernie Rosen is a fighter. By 1970, we heard that Bernie would be taking a leave for a while going. He had to go out and, and have, a, have some important surgery. The ear doctor told me I had what is called an acoustic neuroma, a benign tumor behind your inner ear. They went in behind my ear and took it out. And I was out for about six months. He had to learn how to walk and talk all over again. He worked over the years to, to get it all back. He came back to work here, and he was just like he never left. He retired, I believe, in 1985. I went to his retirement party, and he came back. I think he worked for another 30 years as a quote-unquote consultant. This man is one of the sweetest men I've had the pleasure to know and work with in my entire life. I love him. If it weren't for Bernie Rosen, I would not be where I am today. And I say that, and so can 35 or 40 other people. To this day, Bernie Rosen, who is one of the pioneers who helped sign the station on, is still passionate, still believing, and, uh, and still inspiring not only me, but young people that, that work here at the station. Not just opening careers for other people, giving people an opportunity, but instilling an ethic, a kind of professional integrity. The greatest compliment that I ever got was one day, Chris Berman, who was working for ESPN, they had just started, and he came up to me and said, you know what, we are gonna pattern our sports shows after what you do. I got to be here during the years that Bobby Bethard and Don Shula 
built the perfect team with imperfect players. And in a way, that was the same thing that happened with us. Bernie Rosen, our sports director, built the perfect team with imperfect players. This was a little Jewish kid from the Bronx of New York that made it. And I, I did everything within my power to make this thing work. Even though he retired for a good five years now, you can still find Bernie at nearly all the Dolphins or Miami Hurricanes games or at the AAA or even Marlins Park. Still fiery as ever and still keeping tabs on all his former employees, now friends, each week. Happy birthday, Bernie.